Good afternoon folks, it's Rob again, Rob Small Engines. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to obviously pick back up on the strimmer. Uh, I've left off here because of obviously work and stuff. So we, last time we touched on the video, uh, we've uh, changed the pull cord. So this time we're going to give the carb a clean, take it off. Clean it all out and then fire it up. So uh, let's start taking the carb off. So what we need to do is get our bit, take the cover off. the plastic cover off just mind the choke handle there though that should just pull out drop that in there that should pull out there drop that there put that to one side right now we can just find what torque size it is too big Perfect. Like I said, I'm sorry about the filming. It's uh, it's not the best, but we try. Take that down a bit. So unscrew your carb. Hope everybody's had a good day today. Being hump day on a Wednesday. All downhill from here now. So you've got your obviously that's your clutch. Your clutch. No. That is your choke for your car but you see pull the lever like so. So put that over there. Right, so now You've got your fuel in and out. Obviously, you've got your bung for your fuel tank. You've got the carburetor. And then, obviously, you've got your throttle at the top. That's your, your mixed your screw. So, what I, all I'm going to do is, is get a pair of long nose pliers. I'm going to rip first release the air out of the tank and then slowly get the old uh, fuel pipes off in fact I'll just cut that bit off there and then uh, oh, watch this see if I can get it pulled it off Easy, just snip that bit off. So, just snip that bit off. There we go. So, if you can see, I've took, took, taken the uh, fuel pipe in and out. So, all you do now is just push your throttle cable in and it should you see a little groove there in fact let me undo this and i'll show you so pull that out so so you'll see there's a little groove where is it can you see it turn it around a bit there look and it sits in there so that's the carb off so what we need to do now is put those bits there so we don't use them 
a bugger for losing the screws. Pull that up there, pull that up there. So, what we can do now is carefully, obviously, because there's fuel in it, just move the shimmer out of the way. So, we're left with the. I'm sorry for messing about this cable, it's from the light. So, just give it a bit of WD on the side. Clean your work surface down. Right, so, I'm going to strip it on the. But I have got a nice, clean bit of rag where I'm going to build it back on. So, what you need for this? Your cab, good screwdriver, your WD, and then uh, let me see if I can position that camera a bit better for you. So it's facing the car. There we go. Right, so what we need to do now, We'll take the screws out. I mean, you've probably seen this a million times, but I hope it helps somebody out there what's struggling and can't get the machine going. So basically, all I'm doing is stripping the carb, making sure there's no dirt in the jets. In the inlets and outlets I'm just making sure it's really functionable so there's no dirt right that's just released the fuel so what I'll do I'll take the screws out there so so that seems to be in the, right, there we go. right so what we've got So obviously you've got your primer bulb, then you've got the primer there. That's what sucks the food. Uh, the food. You can tell it's nearly tea time, can't you? So, yeah, that's what your primer sits over and primes your carb. So I'll put that over there. So obviously, this, ooh, yeah. You've got your fuel filter, your fuel, come on, Rob. Your fuel, uh, that it diaphragm so carefully if we can oh yeah fantastic that one just carefully if you can just pull that off up and that to me is that spot on that so we'll put that on rag sit the old girl up So, this is what lets the fuel through. See? And when it's upside down like that, obviously it lets the fuel in and out your jet. So, basically, we're going to take that out. And be careful, folks, because... There's a little tiny spring, and that's got a tendency of going poop. Off it goes. So there's the little spring, the little bagger. So we'll put that over there, and then you've got your jet. Give them a good uh, scene too. So. 
We're left with that now. Let's give it our good old uh, squirt with the old jets. So, as you can see, that's there's no uh, there's no dirt on that. That's super. Super. That. So, what we'll do? Let's give it a quick. See that fly out then. Give it a good old just be careful of the uh, the filter because that catches any muck what comes out your tank. So just pop that back in. There. Is that can you see is good there? I hope so. So put the old airline back. Right, so we'll take the needle out next, or the float needle, whatever you want to call it. So take that off. Oh, actually, I've not took the fuel diaphragm off, which is there. You've got to make sure that you see, I can hold it there, you see them are flat parallel with the carb, because that's what pumps your fuel through. So that can go over there. And what I need is a, a little flat to a mixture screw. So what you do with a mixture screw, you count how many turns in. So that's half, one full turn. So that's definitely wrong. I usually turn them, turn them out about About a turn and a turn and a half, a turn and three quarters, depending on uh, the machine. So and there's your mixture screw, air screw, whatever you want to call it. Oh, yeah. So we'll take that off. And there. This should just pop out. Give it a little persuasion. There you go. I don't think it wants to come out. There we go. And as you can see, that doesn't look good does it it's full of gunk so all i'm going to do is give it a i mean you can use carb cleaner for this but it's not that bad to be fair i've seen worse just give it a good old spray clean the stuff off put it on there Give it a good blow out with the old uh, with the old arrows. You can see the nail in the middle. It's, uh, Okay. 
So, what we've got now, fingers crossed, is a cleaner carb. So, I'll put that on there. Get rid of the old wipe it down. Right. Position me. So, what we're left with is putting it back together. So, just do that, check that, make sure there's no stuff on that, dirt. That. Fuel. As you can see, that's a lot better, that one. Super. Super. So, I want to ask, you know, like, obviously, I've been watching YouTube a lot, and over the years, and I've always tinkered with engines, so, obviously, you've got other fellow YouTubers out there what do the same as me. But my uh, my channel obviously is on the uh, the newbies. Come on, on. But you know, it's. Uh, let me go. I don't want to play this. Take it out, there we go. So it'd be appreciated, appreciated if you could uh, obviously like and share it. Oh, there they are, fiddle with these, aren't they? Oh, caught that. So, there we go, right. There we go. <laughs> so, it can only go in one way. Because they obviously, they won't line up the holes there there and obviously there so so you get your screws tighten it up nip it all up you don't need to over tighten these obviously because they're only soft they're only soft metal so you don't need to go heavy with them snip them up but you can also buy the uh, diaphragm kits for these but I tend to find 9 times out of 10 that they're fine it's just the fuel diaphragms on them can, they tend to go a bit stiff and crinkly but as you can see that's fine but sometimes the old uh, ultrasonic cleaner that can bring them to life I've seen that a few times so. there we go. so like I said just nip that up but I need that a bit further now there we go look so i'll move that there so that's your the old floating so just start building it back up just make sure there's no dirt 
on these because it'll just go straight back into your carb and then you're back to square one again up the car but we are a paddle that's all my old dad would say so here comes the trick leave that there here comes the tricky bit which i love doing so your little spring which is there so we need to sit that like so get your little needle pop it in now you can imagine this is quite hard for I ain't got the smallest of hands so my missus would say I'm like a boy in a china shop her words and then it sits like that folks as you can see so all you do then is hold it down and tighten nip it up just a, enough so it moves nice and free see a bit more Bend that up a little bit, not too much. A bit of play on that. There we go. There we go. So, put the fuel back on. The fuel, put the fuel back on. All the diaphragms. Pull that out. It can only go one way, you see. The, the, the uh, plugs uh, obviously fit the cap. That don't want to stay in that. I think it's trying to tell me something. Anyway, so that's that. So pop that back on. Same again, can only go one way. And the way is not that. <laughs> so we'll put it on that way there, like so. My result, oh, perfect. And then we we'll put the priming system back on, the bulb, primer bulb. So. I mean, I'm not say, I've not really said before, but uh, I really do appreciate people, viewers, what watch the channel, like it, share it. If that is a thing on YouTube, sharing it. But yeah, uh, I really appreciate it. And obviously, the stuff. That I've learned myself is, uh, you know, I've learned stuff off fellow YouTubers as well and tips and I just find YouTube fantastic. There's nothing on there what's, you know, you buy a remote from shop, the Universal, oh, don't bother with instructions, just look straight on YouTube. Nine times out of ten, it's on though. So, just knit them up. Don't, like I said, I keep saying don't over tight these because over tightening them, they're, they're so brittle, these. You know. Snip them up, they don't need to be super tight. So. Right, so there's the carbon, the carby, obviously looking cleaner. Put the mixture screw back in. So 
But what I'll do is, I'll turn it all the way. Let me better screw that. There we go. Get that dirt cleaned off it. So, twist it all the way in. Right, that's don't force it all like tight tight. So, so what I'll do, we'll go for two turns. So if I can show you, so half, one and a half, two. So that's two turns off. So clean the old side. Pop the carb there, and I'll move that up slightly. Oh. So, Whoop. here we are. So let's give that a bit of a clean. Like so. Right. Well, while we're here, we'll check the old uh, the pipes seem okay, but I don't like the look of that filter. Yeah, that's okay, huh? but all that is corroded. See? Just falling apart. So, what's the old feel like? Perfect. Mm -hmm. They were all clean. So, I found a new you're on it. There we go. I mean, it can only go in one way again. Obviously, you want them the thin side, well, the thinner side down facing the fuel. So, just push that through, pull it through. Same again, push that through, like so. Marry it up with that. Right, so now we've got the carby. In fact, we'll just pop that back in. What I do tend to do with these is just give it tiny bit of the relief water and then put it on your grommet and then it's just not it should just go in that much easier you can see just work right your way around keep your fingers on it and then the last bit should just pop in like that push it down and as you can see that is much better. So that's that sorted. Again, clean the top. Like I said, this machine, it come in for the pull cord, but uh, it won't run in right. It will run in like a bag of spanners. So, I run the customer up, obviously told them that. It's uh, running rough. So we should just give it a good old clean while I'm there, carby and etc. Right, so there's your, your fuel lines back on, your car back on. So now, what we need to do is 
is turn this back round because I've turned it on the wrong way. See folks, I am only human. Just check them off quickly. I mean, the only quicker process than this is buying a new car, but obviously this is, uh, it's not that old to be fair. So we just turn that round like that. And then obviously put our bracket back on, like so. screws back in and if you think if well if you're thinking why have you just turned that round is because I'll show you in a second snip that back up too tight I mean I see videos and people use impact drivers on these and I just cringe waiting for the crunch right so i like to turn that round because obviously this seal goes onto the air filter and then obviously you've got the fuel the fuel manifold the, the manifold there which which marries up okay. i can show you that marries up with that So, that's an old like how slack that pipe is. So we'll just nick the end off. Like so. So there we go. Nick that back up there. In fact, I might put a new bit of pipe on that. Just give it a bit, a bit more. Oh, my little brew holes coming. My little males. Shit, Sue. Hang on, folks. I'll introduce you. Come on, Bruno. Hello, boy. Who's this? <laughs> Here you go, folks. <laughs> little Bruno. What's this? Come here. Hello, my little man. You want to belly rub? You want to belly rub? Here you go. <laughs> so, sorry about that. So, we get the, uh, the air filter box. As you can see, that's filthy. So, Give that a bit of a clean and an old dust with your hair. So, just remember your choke lever goes to the outside of the engine. Like that. So, I'll tell you what we'll do before we do that. We get our idea up. Put the old throttle back on. Let me see that. Move it up a bit. Like so. Set the old throttle there like that. Put the carby in. Screws. Make sure your gasket's on. Move that out of the way. And then slowly. This is the only thing I use the impact for, and it's on the lowest setting. Just knit that up. Like 
as you can see that's got nice so it's perfect that. so there we go also i want to mention as you can the plug i've taken out completely obviously i don't want to work on machines when it's obviously you know don't want it firing up so carb cleaned filter back on we'll give it a good old uh, clean let me get the plug okay bruno what are you lad so that's uh, the old, the old plug. Just give it a good clean on the. Uh, not looking so clever. I'd usually put a new one in, but I've, I've had to order some in. I ran out, so just give it a good old clean on the wire wheel. Not too. Don't apply too much pressure. Give it a dust yeah. So we'll uh, put the old. I don't know why I should have that in there. Let me move that part if I am. Put the old plug back in. We'll whip her up. Push the HT lead on. Right. Through there so we don't lose it. Move them. Put some of the old tools back. Right. So Let's prime it. Oh yeah, much better. So choke on, engine on. Let's give it a go. let's give it a pull. Can you see? filter back on so we put the air filter sponge in the circle clip put all the sponge in put that there, put that there, like so hold there and all we'll do is drop that screw in there So, obviously, over the choke lever, like that, make sure it's level, and then snip it up, like that, and there we have folks, carb clean, new grommet, Recondition, well, I say recondition, it's pull cord. Let's try it again. No choke, choke off. 
Whoa. Oh, I'll switch it on. Bit of choke. with that so that is how you clean uh, one of the carbs on the old petrol strimmer so please like and, and uh, share the video if you can share on YouTube uh, obviously I'll, I'll keep bringing more content in between work and me hobby, I love tinkering. So, peace out.